This is DeAndre Till Daddy. Welcome to Family Feud. <laughs> Today, we have the McLovin family from, from Springfield, Illinois. Let's give them a round of applause. Over here, we have the McFly family. They're from Burton, Texas. Here, buddy! Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. Yeah. All right. Let's have our first contestant, Doug and Megan, come up. All right, so today, how this works is I'm going to ask a question. And the first person to hit your button will get to answer the question. All right? So the question is, what are character traits that make a good friend? All right, Doug, you won. Honesty. You always got to be honest to your friends. Honestly, let's look at the board. Is that one? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 20 points for Burton. Woo! All right, let's come over here. All right, now, Tucker, what is a character trait that makes a good friend? They got to drive a big truck. You like that, don't you? Here he is. Yeah. Yeah. Drives a big truck. <laughs> oh, wrong. What? That's the first strike for the McFly family. Two more. Oh, the McLovin family will get a try at it. All right, James. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is a character trait that makes a good friend? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to say loyalty. Loyalty. Is loyalty an answer? Oh, I tried to go down! The McFly family is balling. All right. We're going to take a quick word with our sponsors, and we'll be back right after this. Stay Welcome back to Family Feud. If you haven't been with us, what you missed is the McFly family has received a strike, but they have gotten two correct for 40 points. So we're up to James. No, we're up to Josh. <laughs> what is a character trait that makes a good friend? Uh, sausage? That's right, we love yeah, our sausage on the Burton answer. Good sausage! <laughs> Sausage! <laughs> this is correct! Alright! <laughs> no sausage! Sorry guys, that's strike two! That, Y'all got a faulty survey here. Max! <laughs> Alright, the McFly, family, the McFly family, hate to tell you, you're down to your last strike. One more incorrect answer. We're gonna have to pass it over to the McLovins. Alright, James. What is a character trait that makes a good friend? Oh, my friends always got to make you laugh. All right, a good sense of humor. Let's see if we got that. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! Plus the McFly family. Where you go, son? <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. All right, tell you, let's see if you can keep it going. <laughs> what is a character trait that makes a good friend? We like a pine friend. We like one that worked on tractors too. Yeah. Kind friend like that. that helps with tractors. Let's see if we have a kind friend here. Woo! Johnny Boy, what's with the McFlies? Get her done. <laughs> All right, Doug. Let's see if you can keep it going. One yeah. more wrong, and you're out of here. What is a character trait that makes a good friend? You gotta start the day off with a dip and crack a cold one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if start the day with the dip and crack the cold one. <laughs> hey, no, that's, that's strike three. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? That's what all the friends do. I got to admit, that is nice. Oh, uh, man. That's dang it. What do you do? <laughs> all right. Some terrible the friends. McFly, yeah. The McFly family has scored 80 points, but unfortunately they received three strikes. So we're going to pass it over here to the McLovin family and see if they can get the, the last six correct. All right. Megan, you're the first person representing the McLovin family. 
You're, you're the mother of these three, am I correct? Yes. All right, just making sure. What is a character trait that makes a good friend, Megan? I would have to say responsibility. Responsibility. That sounds like, that. That sound like a good one. Better answer than yours. We oh, have, have a look. look. Have a look. Attention. Oh, yeah. Woo! 20 points for the McLovin. I guess you, uh, the crowd can feel the tension going on here between the families. Anyways, Julie, <laughs> what is a character trait that makes a good friend? Um, I would say they would have to have interest in common with me. Common interest? That sounds like a good one. Like farm tools. There you go. Common <laughs> interest. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, all right, Shaniqua, <laughs> what is a character trait that makes a good friend? Um, gentleness. Gentleness, that sounds a little lame, but let's see if it's up here. Loser. Hey. Gentleness. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Shaniqua, you have... You've caused your team a point. That's all right. Good job. I'm sorry, Mom. That's all right. I still have two sorry, strikes remaining. Two white children and one black. <laughs> 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 Great family out here. Good family chemistry. I like it. All right. Here's what's up. Here's what's up. My mom didn't make the things. All right, guys. Let's focus here. Melissa. <laughs> what? It's a character trait that makes a good friend. Um, helpful. Helpful. I would agree with that. Farm. Yeah. yeah that's helpful. Help sausage. <laughs> helpful. <laughs> we like helping with our Let's sausage. See it. Oh, yeah. Twenty more points in the Glovin family. All right. Good job, Melissa. Got to be helpful on that diesel engine. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Shaniqua. What is a common character trait that makes a good friend? Well, oh. oh, hey, we don't, that's not how it works. <laughs> no discussing, I'm just going to call you an ex. Come on, Shaniqua, you have five seconds. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> we don't even need to go over that. That's just the most ridiculous <laughs> answer I've ever heard on the show. <laughs> That ought to be two X's. <laughs> uh, all right. McLovin family. Now y'all probably aren't too happy with little Shaniqua right now. Causing y'all two points. But Julie, let's see if y'all can get back on the right track here. What is a character trait that makes a good friend? Well, I would say I want them clean. You would like, like them to be clean. Like, like no drugs or... And then he has Alright, clean. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's give him a round of applause. We're back on track. Alright, that's 60 points for the McLovin family from Springfield, Illinois. Alright, let's go back to the mother of these three. Megan. Is that in Texas? No. Um, what? Illinois, smarty pants. What is that? All we right, don't learn that stuff in school. Alright, guys. Let's Cut the tension. What is a character trait that makes a good friend? Um, I'd have to say they have to be open-minded about things. Open-minded, I would agree. Let's see if the people that voted agree. Open-minded. Oh, yeah, let's give them another round of applause. All right, back to Julie, the oldest of the three daughters. What is a character trait that makes a good friend? Um, well, I think the big thing is trust. You have to be trustworthy. Okay, trustworthy. Let's see. Oh, they got the final answer. Got it. Let's give it up for the Robin family. This is rigged. Hey. We're burning sausage up there. <laughs> they have won round one of Family Feud.
Alright, we're going to take a word with our sponsors and we'll be right back for the final round. Welcome back to Family Feud. Here's our final round today. Alright. Julie? Tucker. Eater done. There you go, son. Oh, I'm proud, representing the McLovin family. Know, Tucker's representing the McFive family all the way from Burton, Texas. You know what they Woo! taught us in that school? Yeah, Burton. Alright. You got the truth. So this is similar to the last round, except the question's a little different. So I'm gonna ask the question. If you know it, hit the button. The first one to hit the button, you get to guess first. Alright. So, what is a deal breaker and having a friend. Fun Jack on Ferris wheel. I got it, son. You disappoint me. I know it, Daddy. Julie. Julie won. Julie, what is the answer? What is a deal breaker in your opinion? Um, I would say a deal breaker would be a backstabber. A backstabber. Let's see if that's correct. Backstabber is correct. The McLovin family is up first. Oh, that is good. I don't know who's the best. All right. It's okay, son. There are four correct answer choices left. This time, you're going to get two strikes, and you're out. So let's erase these from last round. All right. Megan. El Madre of the family. What is a deal breaker in friendship, in your opinion? Um, I think a deal breaker would be if they were liars. Liars. Good answer. Let's see if liars is on the board. For 20 points in D. Give him a round of applause. Chew right. it. What is a deal breaker in friendship, in your opinion? Let's see if you can get two of them correct. I would say a deal breaker, in my opinion, is if they like Texas University. Good answer, good answer! <laughs> that is the worst answer I've ever heard on this show. That is a strike. Now you're going to go to the board on that one. Anyways, let's see if Shaniqua can bounce back the McLovin family. Shaniqua, what is a deal breaker, in your opinion? Criminals? Criminals. Wow. Let's see. Is criminals on the board? Oh, indeed it is. You heard of criminals. You, you can't have any friends. According to the McLovin family, you're just going to have to live alone. All right, <laughs> Melissa, the youngest of the family. Let's see, what is a deal breaker in friendship to you? Um, lack of humor. Lack of humor. you got to be funny. I do agree. Let's see if that the people agree. Oh, they do. Two toothpaste. 